Halloween is getting closer every single day, which means it's a perfect time to start making some Halloween-themed book art. Welcome, I'm Jason, and this is Essential Origami. Today, we're going to be making a jack-o'-lantern pattern, just like this, in the style of book folding. What is book folding? I'm glad you asked. Here is one that I've made for a customer recently, and it says, forever and always with a wonderful infinity shape put in, in between and it's made by cutting every single page and pushing in the the sections to the right space and then you get a picture so today we're going to do this idea with a jack-o-lantern pattern we're not going to do the whole thing today because i expect it to take about five hours would you like to see a five-hour book folding live stream? If you would, let me know in the comments. Today, we're just going to get started. So here's what we need to do. You need a book, and a book from the Vampire Chronicles seems appropriate for a Halloween-themed design. And I also have an origami folding bone, otherwise you get very, very sore fingers. I have a grey lead. I used to do this with a pen but it made horrible blue marks on the space where I was marking the pages. The grey lead blends in a bit more. I've also got some scissors and a ruler, and that's it. So let's get started. This template, if we move to my other camera, essential origami book template it comes with all of these different little rulers which can be used it can be used so as your design fits any book length at all and that comes with one caveat uh, the very hungry caterpillar has 10 pages that's too small don't make book art with the very hungry caterpillar i recommend at least 200 pages and hardcover sits up quite nicely this book has 360 pages, so that is what we are using today. So we have the measurements in here. Half of 360 is 180, so 180 pieces of paper. Let's get started. First, you need to work out how high do you want the template to sit within the book. So open it up. And I think somewhere in the middle would look best. So about there. About there. What, what do you think? Does that look good? Ah, we, um, hello to Graham. Good to see you uh, watching us today. About there looks good, I think. So I open up the book and I'm going to crease the top of the page at that point. So this shows where I want the page to be sitting for the whole book. Now I'm just going to fold along that line properly. And it's very important here, make sure that you fold in line with the page. should be lined up nicely all the way along. And that's why there are lines included uh, in the template here. You can ensure that your fold matches one of those lines. So there we go. And that is exactly right. It is perfect, in fact. So now, by using this fold here, we can make sure the template sits at the right height for the entire book. There we go. Now, if you look at uh, this design here, one moment, let's adjust the camera. If you look at this design here, Every page has been folded in a little bit, so you want to make sure that it's folded into the right amount. And how do you fold each one in the right amount? Thank you for asking. I'm going to show you. You need to fold. It doesn't really matter how far each one goes as long as they are all to the same distance. And that will look like this. I like to use about a third of the page. Uh, 
and we do that by I'm just playing with the view no 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 ah that'll do we make it consistent by firstly folding the first one like that and I get my folding bone all right now here is the important part Okay. That's what I wanted. Here's the important part. The point where the book was folded over to here, I'm going to put a little mark with my pencil there. So that shows me how far that one went in. And I'm just going to get my ruler, and I'm going to draw a line all up and down the book in that section. So a few times up and down. So that way the line is at the same spot on every single page in the book. And that shows you where you need to fold every single page into. They all go into this point right here. Like that. So you can see that there. That line goes up and down the same point on every single page. And we're going to do the same on the top. Because I like to have that extra line to fold to. Make sure everything is consistent. Consistency is very important with book folding. And as you can see, this is an enthralling and riveting part of the process. Definitely worthy of a live stream. So thank you to everybody who is uh, watching at this point. All right. Some people uh, may be really concerned that drawing a line on the page like this will uh, ruin the design when you're finished, but you don't really notice it when you're finished. Uh, let me show you on the forever and always one. Uh, so here, it, the, the line is there, but it doesn't really stand out, especially for um, you know, this, this far away. Can't even see it. So it's all good. Next. If we look at my template, you'll notice that the paper ruler is wider than the pumpkin. And you'll be thinking, what are you doing, Jason? You've made the template too small. The pumpkin doesn't fit. And let me assure you, that was done for a very good reason. If we come back to the Infinity Book, I think it looks quite good to have a few blank pages at the beginning and at the end, which aren't cut into. It makes a nice border along the edge. And I think that looks quite good. So that's why the ruler overhangs the design. You get a few pages that are folded before you start to cut them. So we're going to do that right now. In this one, let's have a look. It is either 12 or 14 pages that we fold first. I'm not going to say the exact number in case there's any superstitious people out there. Uh, either 12 or 14 pages need to be folded. So uh, let's do that right now. And uh, this is the point where if this was a recording, I would speed up the footage, but uh, you get to see every single step along with me. Let's get into it. So this is page number two. It's lined up. It's lined up with that line over here. And on the other side. So this can also count as some uh, primary school practice counting up to the number 13. A very important skill. Number three, folding it to that line, squash it down, and once more with the paper ruler just to make sure it's a good fold. Number four, and 
Okay. Number five. Number six. Hmm. While I'm doing this, does anybody know any good jokes? Number seven. Number eight. nine so we're nearly there now thank you for your patience in uh, watching through this far it is much appreciated and ten And eleven. And two more now, and then we can start cutting in the design. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one more. Thirteen, there we go. So that is all the uh, border finished. So now we can start cutting the design. Let's get on with that. So we fold in one more page to that same point, and this will be the first one that we start to cut the design into. Now, let's get started. So we need to make sure that it is hooked over the top, over here. And if we look on the back here, so the page is hooked over there. So we make sure it sits on the very top of the page. And that way it's at the same point on every spot. So with it hooked over the page, line it up with the first spot, the first spot where it starts to touch the edge of the jack lantern. right about there and you can see this is the right spot because the black line that shows you the where the points of the paper all that disappears when you're at the right spot so i need my pencil okay and here's another very important part of the process if you forget this then you ruin everything when you've marked the lines on the page straight away before you do anything else you need to mark at the very top of the paper ruler the line you just drew. So I've done that one. And all the rest of these are the bits that we just folded over. So I'm going to do those right now. So all of those right now. All marked in, so they are all done. So now we've marked the paper ruler, we've marked the page that we're going to cut. So next, I'm 
I need my scissors. And the lines that we just drew on there, we cut along here, along there. And this is another important part. Don't cut all the way to the end of the page. Only cut as far as the folded over part of the paper. So along here. Next, how far do we fold in this little flap? I like to fold it in a bit less than a centimetre. So if we're converting, if we're looking at inches, somewhere between a, a bit more than a quarter of an inch, somewhere in this range here. And that works out quite nicely. Uh, you can fold it in further if it's a simple design, maybe just a, you know, a love heart shape. With, without lots of little pointy bits, but if we look at our jack-o'-lantern, lots of little pointy bits where the teeth go. Lots of po little pointy bits where the teeth go. Um, they can twist and get bent if you have really long uh, folds going in, so they're hanging by themselves. We don't want that. So a bit less than a centimetre or around the quarter of an inch mark works reasonably well so i'm going to use centimeters so a bit less than a centimeter in it goes there we go and we continue like that we continue that process all the way along for every little mark that we do i'll show you just one more for now and then we'll finish up for today. So we fold the page in. Use my paper ruler to fold it down nice and flat. Line it up on the template. And the line above here shows the one we just did. So we need to go to just the very next line. Very next one. And we can see because the pumpkin shape is getting bigger, it takes up a bit more space than the last one. Draw the line where the Jack o' lantern touches the page, so it touches there and it touches here. Mark on the paper ruler, we just did that one. And then we need to cut the page. And there is one more step that I like to do. One last little tip that I'll show you that I'll tell you about before we get. Uh, before we finish for today, I don't want to have to measure every single little page. I don't want to measure every single little page as I'm going. So what I do, I'm just going to use a small part of my template. I cut just the end of the template off to show you the exact space that I need to fold this into. So I'll show, let me show you what I mean. I'm going to put my template in as far into the spine of the book as it goes. And I'm going to mark on here where the paper flap went into. So this distance is how far in you fold each flap for the whole book. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut off that end a little bit because you don't really need this end bit of the template for the design. It's just, just there to look pretty. So I'm going to cut that down. And then this shows me exactly how far to fold in each little flap for the entire book. So if we have a look, flap goes that far. Done. So let's fold in this last flap, and this will be our last thing that we do before we finish up. Okay, 
into the into the paper, fold it down, and that is done. Unfortunately, the uh, the entire design is not done. We have 178 pages left to cut, or 178 sheets of paper. So I'm off to I'm off to do that now. Uh, thank you for watching. Would you like to see another book folding live stream? Was this just the best part of your day? If it was, please let me know, and I will happily do more book folding live streams. Um, subscribe if you'd like to see more of these, more things about book folding, and also a few origami tips in general. Uh, thank you for watching, and one final thing that you must remember, always remember, origami is essential. Bye for now.